Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays Systems Nominal. What is Systems Nominal? Aside from a game that I keep trying to call Simpsons Nominal for some probably dyslexic reason, it is a game created by Nerd Cubed, released just today via Torrance and his website, and that stuff will be in the uh, description if you want to go check it out yourself. But what is Systems Nominal? Well, let's check out the how to play, because that describes it just about as well as anything else that I have seen. How to play. This is your ship. These are your people. Save them. From nothing. Yeah, that's all you get. I got nothing. <laughs> uh, basically what it is, okay, it's... You get a keyboard here. A standard QWERTY keyboard that can be changed. Uh, he put a lot of effort into picking different... Uh, keyboard layouts and programming them all in and all that fun stuff. Uh, so you get a QWERTY keyboard here and like uh, Yeah, this is your control panel systems are being diverted here for your maintenance boop and then you get like Q V J uh, So basically what happens is as the lights light up green You have access to those systems and then when they light up red that means that they're broken I think it's saying that this system is off. Pressing this key will do nothing. The gray or the tan ones, I guess, they do nothing. This system is active. Pressing this key will cause an overload. So the green lights cause an overload. Too many overloads will be devastating to the ship. Be careful. Okay, so up here is kind of like your health bar, kind of ish, so to speak. Uh, basically, as you screw up, you lose monitors. And once you lose all the monitors, the ship blows up. And that's what it's saying there. Boop. This system is faulty. Press the key to correct it. Failure to do so in time will result in catastrophic failure. Basically, when it turns red, you have to push the button. That, that's the game. It's lights turn green. Don't touch it. Lights turn red. Touch it. That's the game. And what you got to do is get this counter the whole way from 1,000 where it starts... To zero so your crew is evacuating this is how many souls are still on board save them now as far as I know if there's no story behind this there's no um, what they're running from outside of nothing <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it so let's check out our options mode real quick and we have SFX volume we have music volume which I'm actually just gonna turn down because it's making my head hurt uh, full screen versus windowed key bindings which is the different types of keyboards QWERTY, QWERTS, and Azerty no Dvork? I thought he actually put effort into making it Dvork or is that QWERTS or Azerty or whatever I don't know, I, I have a QWERTY keyboard so I have no idea uh, we have a colorblind mode which boop changes from green from red to blue so if you're red green color blind you can change it to red or green and blue so it's easier to see which i guess might be a little bit silly considering that the letters are red eh, i don't i don't i don't know i don't know <laughs> i'm not red green color blind i'm blue purple color blind so this isn't a problem for me and that's pretty much it we got credits Created by Daniel Hardcastle. And then we got all of the music by Kevin McCloyd. I don't remember this song. Hmm. Anyways. Uh, Nerdcube theme, that's from the intro. Built in Construct 2. Never heard of it. Probably a game developing thing. And since I do web pages, I don't get to see this. All right, so we got two choices. We have our play, which is like the story mode, and then we have endless mode. So let's take a look at the regular story mode and see what we get. And I'm probably going to be distracted because I'm trying to concentrate on actually playing the game and doing this. Basically, you always start out with F and J lit and one other key. Now, those keys vary from time to time. Or that other key, I should say, varies from time to time. And... Basically, this is the purpose of the game, is you just press the buttons as you play. So, oops, wrong button. It's not 
easy to do because the keys aren't lettered. But, yeah, that doesn't mean it's easy. It also doesn't help that this is on a big enough screen that I can, I, I can look at one side of the keyboard and not see the other side. So if a light turns green on one side of the keyboard and not the other, I won't see it. Until I, whoa. B, um... Ah, wait, what? Okay, y'all saw that. It just kind of stopped, right? You noticed that. Because I sure did. Did I not push a button fast enough? Is that what happened there? I thought I noticed them all. Let's try this again. Um, so the same two keys are lit, but we have another one, which is actually O. But F and J always, always light up, like, all the time. Quite often. Now, this would be a really good uh, keyboard learning program. Like, if you labeled the keys, you could really quickly teach people how to uh, play this game, or uh, type on the keyboard really quick. Now, it doesn't... it. It's a little bit more difficult because it's not like words or anything like that. Holy crap. There we go. Um, anyways, so <laughs> I'm being distracted by the game. I'm trying to pay attention to the game and everything's going nuts. And there's shooting in the background and then things are flying past uh, the, the, the monitors and yeah. Oops. <laughs> See, I took damage there. So one of my monitors went away. B. Um. Uh. Bad. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Small catastrophe, but we could work through it as best as I can. S. Um. Crap. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> this game is hard, <laughs> but that's my highest score ever, though. 669 people, down to 669 people. Um, but yes, that's the story mode, and that's pretty much the entirety of the story mode, except apparently there is an end game in this somewhere. Obviously, I'm nowhere near finding it, uh, because the game gets harder as you play it, obviously. And I can't even get 50% way, 50 of the way through the game, so it kind of... Sucks. Let's try endless mode, which I is locked. You're kidding. Do I have to beat story mode before I can play endless mode? Oh, that is evil. Evil. Ah, uh, alrighty. Well, I'll try to keep going here, but I promise nothing. I really do. I guess technically we could create a story for this. But let's see. So the parameters for the story have to be uh, you're saving the crew from nothing. Okay? Absolutely nothing. But there's shadows running across the screen. Okay? And uh, there's gunfire and there's smashy stuff and all that and people are evacuating for some reason. So those are our parameters. So, can we make a story from that? Alright, I don't think I can. But, basically... If it was just something like, save your crew from nothing. Okay, that that's actually relatively easy. Because we could just say that uh, nothing is space. Because that is space. It's nothingness. That's the big problem about space. But that wouldn't take into account the gunfire and the failing systems. Well, that would might take into account the failing systems. But, uh, and I apparently didn't push a key in the right order or something and didn't press it in time. I don't know. But, uh, <sighs> all right, screw that. <laughs> but, yeah, so that system nominal. It's a giant pain in the butt. It... I have no idea how I would have the storyline, but, uh, so I was having fun with this, 
a little while ago. Uh, the, the download comes with the Linux version, the Mac version, and the Windows version. So you have all three. Uh, the Windows version is very simple. It's got a bunch of DLLs and an EXE file. The Linux version looks even simpler. There's like less files. <clears throat> well, by simple, I don't mean programming wise. I mean simple by as in the file structure itself. Uh, just, yeah, a bunch of files, a couple of files, not that many. The Mac version, however, looks complicated because you can actually look into the Mac folder and dig through all all of the files so you can get like the audio tracks and the images and all that stuff um now recording this is kind of a pain in the butt too because i'm using fraps and every time i start the game you know every time i start the game it starts with the nerd cubed intro but if i hit a button to hit record it skips instantly to the menu so yeah I don't get it. I don't know. But that system nominal, completely free on NerdCube's website. Go check it out. It is pretty awesome. And I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.